Imagine a conscious contact with God so strong that no matter what you are doing or not doing, that no matter what your kids are up to or not up to, and that whether you've got the person of your dreams or they're just not cooperating, that you are happy, content, and at peace. A space where everyone else's thoughts, attitudes, and actions are beautiful and exactly as they are supposed to be. Well, this is the space where I like to play. My name is Misha Z, and this is today's Bitch Slap. Join me as I shed light on the thoughts, actions, and attitudes that are causing you pain, and we train our minds to go to the capital S inner self, the joy that is waiting for us, the God within. Today's episode, we are going to speak on a wonky meditation this morning. Anybody who's been listening for a bit knows that I fairly diligently meditate for an hour in the morning. It's a top, top thing that I do um, just because it, uh, yeah, it's good, good. But anyway, sometimes those meditations can be wonky as this morning's was. And then yesterday I recorded an episode. I'm not sure if it landed but I was in a state after um, bringing some summit copy to the classroom, to my uh, coaching classroom. And then lastly, um, a great rebound. Well, yesterday I was definitely in a state because it did not go as planned. I got some responses that, uh, of course, my expectations <laughs> were much greater than the responses. And so I was tweaking. <laughs> and then um, today, a great rebound day. So anyhow, uh, let's start with, uh, let's start with uh, <laughs> the, 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 yeah, so yesterday I was qu- in quite a state. I'd done, um, gone to the summit classroom, or the, um, not summit classroom, the coaching classroom to have them inspect some copy for my pending summit release for the registration page. And, uh, turned out I had not done a good job on the headline and I see it now and I knew it in the moment and I was very frustrated and, um, some other copy wasn't so great. Good news is, is I did get a little positive uh, review on at least a few pieces of the copy, but just suffice it to say that I was took it personally. Was really upset. I put a lot of time and effort into it, and and um, shook me up. And you know, I uh, worked on the copy some last night, and uh, came up with actually some great ideas, and worked at it. And you know, the ups and downs of like as I'm praying through it, and talking to source about you know help me help me be of service here help me see what I need to see the these sorts of things and uh, you know what message do you want me to carry and and so I got some good some good ideas down some good copy down I did my nightly inventory as well and I'd written you know about my fears wish I had them in front of me but I don't obviously as I'm walking but I had you know written down my fears and my resentments and you know the resentments were flaring for sure like at Vince God bless you Vince that's <laughs> so funny to know if of course I'm gonna publish that episode but I just I just let it rip man the wound was in full I was in full wound mode <laughs> this morning it is scarred over and the wound is not so raw but uh you know and then I did the the prayers around the resentment you know to relieve myself of that anger and and uh (coughs) and and it worked um and you know the other that was just the spark of some other fears and resentments and so i inventoried all that and which is such a great exercise and and then you know a, a lot of the fears and and some, uh, 
like worry and morbid reflection like I went into a mode for a little bit of like what have I done being this being in this coaching group for almost a year now have I wasted time money you know all these things and I don't know if that happens to other people but it was definitely flaring up in me so I'm, I'm documenting all this and I'm trying to look at it and and the you know the some fears of financial insecurity creep in and but uh, I uh, you know prayed on it wrote on it meditated on it breathed through it got work done on the copy went to bed and I was really like oh no I'm gonna have a super fitful night's sleep <laughs> right just <laughs> so sure enough and it was really funny I actually tried a couple tricks that helped and I'm gonna share with you one right now share one with you right now <clears throat> and one was um, the stuff that was having me toss and turn I literally said to myself hey this isn't real like what what you know this supposed um, conversation you're having with this person is not real um, this this uh, I can't even remember what it was but usually it's like interview interview mares um, <laughs> stuff like that it's like it's not real like you're actually laying in bed right now and, and it worked so that's awesome I might come up with a framework for that because uh, it was g great help me chill out um, and also tie that with uh, Krista Ryan when I interviewed her for the summit she has a couple of great sleeping tricks so I interviewed all these people right and I got all of these great tricks and things and I can't remember most of them so I myself am literally wanting to go back through the interviews to pull out these tips and tricks because I've used some of them and they've worked and there's so much good stuff in there anyhow as I divert per usual so I ended up actually sleeping fairly well I set the alarm clock for late slept to it so that's awesome actually ended up having a fairly good night's sleep so went into meditation and as I'm meditating for the hour this morning sometimes the, the interesting thing about meditation is can you breathe through the thoughts that want to get you off the couch or out of your meditation spot or pull you into moving and doing something else and that's one of the great things about meditation is you know I woke up there was lots of summit distress lots of content copy ideas flying around for the summit and uh, and you know making me twitch <laughs> but to breathe through it come back to your breath like hey as soon as you get up as soon as the meditation is done then you can worry about about these things you know get them on paper or do these these steps or whatever inspirations coming through the through the meditation and what's so powerful about it is that you can carry that into into your day so if something upsets you or you want to react you can actually carry that meditative moment through where you don't need to react and that is so powerful and just one of the one of the many many benefits of meditation so yeah man <laughs> the mind was working hard to lift me off the couch um, and as a matter of fact uh, <coughs> there was none of that blissy like like <laughs> blip out and and you can feel the blip coming the bliss coming and then you can feel the feel it you feel it going in and out of that blissful state yeah um, no it was just all I am on the couch and I know it and uh, and 
So that's cool to, I think I love having that meditative experience as well, as well where there's discomfort, there's, there's, there's stuff trying to uh, upset, upset the moment um, and to breathe through it and come back to center, so good. So the next thing was, I had a one-on-one -on -one with Coach Vince this morning. And what was so powerful about all this meditation, all this writing, all this, you know, praying through the forgiveness, looking at my part, like literally praying for, for Vince. And I say this with love, like Vince is an amazing dude, amazing guy, great coach. And so when that resentment comes up, use that tool of, you know, hey, God, give everything I want for myself to Vince. Give him his happiness, his prosperity, and his health. And like really saying that so it's felt and internalized and offering up those things to him before they come to me is so powerful. And, and uh, you know, when I was journaling, I was like, last night I was like man I could really end up when you're in a resentful state when I'm in a resentful state my mind can go to I'm gonna tell them off <laughs> when we're on the coaching call let them know how all this that and the other you know and and as I'm coming out of the meditation and going into my day and know that the coaching call was coming up and I did my ACM, my A Course in Miracles work, and um, I, uh, I was like, all right, God, how can I be of service? What can I bring to the table? Like, how can I learn what I need to learn? How can I, how can I be a good student to Vince? And, uh, you know, I said, I, I took a breath and a prayer right before the coaching call. And uh, this is awesome. This could have been two episodes, but um, I've been trying to hold to eight minutes. But uh, but uh, when I went in with that open mind, setting aside that baggage, it was the most amazing coaching call. And the copy that we worked on and what I learned and by holding an open mind and being willing to be student in that moment so I could apply it immediately was so so powerful and uh, man I made some major ground on the on the summit copy today so very excited I'm on track for a for uh, the summit registration opening and then and then the actual summit going off and feel super confident and uh, you know the tools for a good life that I talk about the tools for a good life that are there's so much in that summit like ah. anyway I believe I covered all the bases I talked about my meditation I talked about the upheaval yesterday and coming through that and having a good coaching call I think those were the three topic points or generally speaking. Anyway, everybody have a fine, fine day. And uh, I'm out. Register for the summit. Actually, by the time this hits, the summit will be live. You can go enjoy it. So go to toolsforagoodlifesummit.com. Again, toolsforagoodlifesummit.com. Join the summit. See the amazing speakers. Take advantage of the amazing gifts. And just... Yeah, life is good. Bye. Thank you, thank you, thank you for spending time with me today. As someone who is committed to growth and service to this world, I so appreciate your willingness to come with me, go within, and serve our world through change. If you found value in this podcast and you know someone who can use this message, share this episode with them. Share it so our mission can be achieved one episode at a time. And of course, subscribe so you can hear more. And lastly, for more resources on what has helped me on my journey and can help you on yours, go to 
belove.media forward slash resources. That's B-E-L-O-V-E dot media forward slash resources. Thank you again for listening.